Hello, my dear kids. <clears throat> Very good evening. This is Sundar Abhijit Nathan here. Hello, my dear kids. Very good evening. Hey guys, excuse me for my sore throat. Not well. Not uh, uh, okay. So I'm going to speak a little uh, with a lesser volume. Yeah, I hope you guys are fine with it. Hi Rema, hi Samadhanya, hi Shivan, hi Dhruv, no, no, don't worry, could not sleep, there were some teacher's day events happening at uh, Vedantu, so lot of preparations were happening, so 2-3 days I was very, very tied up, couldn't sleep well. Okay guys, so welcome to this session, we have completed the session on... Uh, the chapter what books and burials tell us today it's time i'm going to make it very very short and crisp it's time for us to understand or go through the a possible ncrd questions ncrd solutions for the chapter what books and burials tell us cool let's move on i will make it very crisp so that it's easy for me and you guys as well okay so guys typically a little a few words about vedantu young wonders all of you know it we are a channel for six to eighth grades and typically what we do is uh, academically we teach math science english grammar and social right all sessions are live sessions you or you all know that right okay on the other side uh, we also have an icc series we also have uh, uh, a non academic series spell b and uh, how does it work cool okay Hi Revati, hi Anjali. Okay, so guys, one more thing. Vedantu's best subscription, Vedantu Pro. In case you are looking for unlimited doubt solving, you want help on tests, assignments, uh, you know, you want to be taught by the best of teachers, this is the subscription that you should look for. Cool? Okay, so note down these two links vdnt.in slash ytpro and my teacher code srpro. All you have to do is go to that link, choose the grade that you want and choose, click on get subscription, look at the features of the course. I'm sure you're going to love it. If you are looking for, you know, you want to become a topper, you want very, very, you know, uh, assistance by the expert teachers, you can take it up. It's a lovely, lovely opportunity. Then choose how many months subscription you want. Six subjects are covered, math, uh, physics, chemistry, biology, English, social. All right. And to get a massive discount, use my teacher code is SRPRO. Cool. Right. So my dear kids. So once you subscribe, you will have access to the best teachers, Vedantu's master teachers. And all that they will teach will be in sync with your curriculum. Cool. Okay, now I think it's time to start. Guys, give me a yo so that we go ahead and start the NCRD solutions for this chapter. Come on. Nitika, we cover four subjects. I think I just explained, right? Awesome. Yeah, I will. I will. Thank you, Kushi. Yeah, yeah, Jennifer. The light is too bright. Uh, since I was not well, I switched it off. Naveen, we just completed class 8 the last two days. Again, you will see that happening on uh, Fridays and Saturdays. Okay, guys, as usual, NCRD solutions, I want you to answer. So, match the following. Shukta. Shukta. 
थैंक यू मल्टीपल वर्क ऑफ ब्रदर्स Kavya, we are dealing with the NCERT solutions for the chapter What Books and Burials Tell Us. Okay? Sukta are not slaves. Come on. Well said. Yes, yes, yes. So Sukta means well said. Chariots used in battles. Yajna, come on guys, Yajna, very simple. Hi, Madho Singh. Sacrifice, yes, yes, yes. And Dasa, slaves and megaliths, stone boulders, all of us know it, right? So Shukta, well said, chariots used in battles, Yajna, sacrifice, Dasa, slaves and megaliths, stone boulders. This is the answer. Have a quick look at it. Done. Moving on to the next question. Complete the sentences. Slaves were used for what? Fill in the blanks. Slaves were used for? Nitika. Sure, Nitika. Why not? No, not battles. Any kind of work that the master wants. Correct? Agreed? Slaves were used for any type of work. Look at it. Doing different kinds of works as per the desire of his or her master. Hi, Manoj Akulwar. Where are the megaliths found? Three places, remember, which we discussed. <clears throat> Three places we discussed on megaliths. Rutu, you got this bang on. Well done. Deccan, Northeast and South India. Okay, Deccan, Northeast, South India. Typically and Kashmir as well. Four places where we found those burial sites with the stone boulders which we call megaliths. Okay, right. So... Stone circles or boulders on the surface were used to what? To do what? These boulders are there, right? The huge boulders. What are they for? On the surface. Hi, Varun Raghuvanshi. Many more happy returns of the day, beta. May God bless you. No, to mark the burial sites. Guys, on the surface, it's like a marking. They keep them there. You guys are forgetting. Yes, yeah, Simija, you are right. Yeah, multiple works of brothers. All you guys are awesome. So, to mark the burial sites. Cool. Port holes. Why do we have port holes? Again, on the burials. Uh, 
Hi Shahana, welcome to Vedantu Young Wonders. Hi Asta. Hi Komal Samiksha, many more happy returns of the day. May God bless you. Hi Gali, come on, I remember you. Potholes were used for, say for example, if one family member dies, they bury them somewhere, right, in the, and the same place if you want to carry them into the burial site, same place, they use the potholes to carry the, you know, the dead uh, my family members. Used for burying other members of the family. Okay, all right, so people at Inamgaon, Inam Gaon, remember? Yeah. What did, what did they eat? Hi Arna, welcome to Vedantu Young Wonders. Hey Ayush, la. <laughs> uh, Guys, they also eat cereals, pulses, pulses dates, jamun. You, you guys forgot everything. Barley. Guys, just know I completed the chapter. Hi, Pradeep Shetty. Guys, lovely to see so many new faces today. Welcome all of you. Unfortunately, I want, I'm not well, so pardon me. Okay. All right. So people at Inamgaon ate wheat, barley, rice, pulses, meat uh, of different animals, fish, bear, amla, jamun, dates, etc. Wow. How did you guys forget it? There are a few who answered as well. Good. Sucha, yeah, kind of. All right. Just know I'm not, I was not well. So I'm not still okay. Right. Coming to... Let's look at certain important dates, guys. Let's look at some important dates. After this, we will go to a lovely Menti quiz. <clears throat> okay, beginning of the composition of Veda. Guys, how many years ago did this happen? The composition of Veda. Beginning of the composition of Veda. I'm sure all of you know Rig Veda, right? Oh, Hali. Hi, Gali. Thank you for joining. Yes, 3500. Good. Now coming to beginning of the uh, building of megaliths. How many years ago? The megaliths. A little lesser than Vedas, right? How many? Guys, we are discussing about megaliths. I understand Vedas 3500 years. Megaliths? 2000? Settlement at Inamgaon? How many years has it been? 2700 or something, right? And Charaka, the beautiful book on medicine, Charaka Samhita, right? So, how many years has it been? Guys, come on, try answering kids. 2000. So, about 3500 years ago, the Vedas. 3000 years ago, the Megaliths. 2700, till 2700. Yeah, I remember. So, this is the settlement at Dinamgaon and Charaka. That was the medicine, the book, everything. It happened 2000 years ago. Awesome. Hey kids, now are you guys ready for a menti? Hi Manesh. Sure Simi, thank you so much. Awesome. 
Awesome. Guys, may I moving on to Menti without spending more time? I'll just switch this off. For some time. It's hitting my head. Alright, kids. Now. So when it comes to Menti, I want all the newcomers to open a separate browser window. Google Chrome window. And type www.menti.com. M E N T I. Guys, all new students, please open a separate window. My apologies, guys. Do not close YouTube. Okay? Hey, hey, titanium song. Don't scare me here. I didn't sleep, I know. Thank you, thank you, Pratham. Thank you, Marinate. Thank you, guys. So, guys, all newcomers, keep your YouTube open. Yeah. Keep your YouTube open and open a separate browser window, Google Chrome window. Type menti.com. M E N T I. Menti.com. Once you open menti.com, it will ask you for a quiz code. The code is 5649129. Hey, one side gamer, little cold here, it's okay. Sometimes you shouldn't think too much about, uh, you know, whenever you are not well. Just try and get distracted so that it doesn't affect you. <laughs> okay, guys, it's time. Starting the quest now. First question on your screens. Everyone ready? Give me a yo. Come on. Ruchi, as I said, between 10th and 15th. First question on your screens now. <clears throat> Who among the following were used for various kind of work? Laborers, slaves, farmers, carpenters. Can I ask you a simpler question than this? Come on, yeah, it's a sitter. Everyone knows the answer, right? Time is up. Slaves, guys. How come you chose labor, yaar? I When I, I just told you guys during this session itself, slaves were used to do different kind of work as per the wish of their masters. How did you forget? 
180 of you got this right? Vivan, Pratham, Aman, Menti, others, Manya, top 5. Purvi, Amu, Lola, Chaviraj, Rishit, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Moving on to question number 2, be ready. Here we go. Coding classes will start by 15th, guys, 10 to 15th. Oh, wow. Look at the question. How many types of Vedas are there? 5, 4, 3, 2. For this, we don't need so many... I heard so many seconds, right? You guys, in a flash, you would have saw, you know, identified. So, see guys, how come so many of you are choosing 5 and 3? I want to know that. So, two questions are over. <clears throat> and... Pratham is at the top. Thank you, Pratham. I will. Don't worry, Aaron. If I sleep and get up, you know, I will be fine. I didn't sleep for last two days because of the work. Others, Purvi, Lola, Manya. Top five. Vivan, Puffy, Joy, Shavi and Rutu. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, guys, I hope you are ready for question number three. Here we go. Yeah, gaming girl, do I? Dash are found in Deccan in the North, East and Kashmir. We again discuss this. So simple. Megalith, Sinamgaon, Mergar, Microliths. Super simple, is it not? Time is up. Wow, 202 of you got this right. Keep it up, guys. Superb. Now, three questions are done. Looks like Pratham is still at the top. Lola is at number two. Look at the differences, guys. 91, 90, 87. Wow, first three. Pratham, Lola, Adarsh, Bhavesh, Vivan. One, two, three, four, five. Rutu, Manesh, Sudev, Nandini, and Shivansh. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, on to question number 4. 3 more to go. Beg and bros. Come on guys. Guys, don't speak about that. Don't worry. I am all good. I know my, my physique. One day, I will just like that. I will get up. I just need to sleep. Nothing else. Six to eight hours of sleep is super important. Stone circles or boulders were used to cover what? Burial places, portholes, houses, all of these. Hundred and sixty-two of you got this right. Hey guys, don't you know that all these megaliths are used for a burial? Why were you guys confused? So many of you chose portholes. Stone circles or boulders used used to cover portholes. You guys can't get that wrong. So please learn it now. Correct yourself. Hundred and sixty-two of you got this right. So. Pratham, Lola, Adarsh, Bhave, Rutu, top 5. Manish, Sudev, Johnny, Arya, and Ayush. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Awesome kids. Moving on. Question number 5. On your screens. <clears throat> what were used for entering the burial places? 
entering the burial places stone holes port holes surface holes both one and three i am kind of curious to understand which answer you choose for this hi sreema reddy Time is up. Port holes, guys. When a family member dies, in the same place, if they want to bury, they use these port holes to enter the burial site. Remember, I was telling you this was like an opening and kind of an entrance. So after five questions, just two more to go. Pratham. Lola, Adarsh, Bhavesh, Ruto. Top five guys. This is not changing at all, yeah. Leaderboard: Manish, Sudev, Arya, Johnny, and Ayush. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My dear kids, here we go. Question number six. Just one more to go after this. <clears throat> Hymns in the Rig Veda are in the form of prose, poetry, dialogues, stories. Rig Veda has uh, 1,028 hymns, right? In what form are they? I see a big uh, fight between poetry and dialogues. Dialogues, hymns. Remember the dialogue between. Uh, it was also there. Uh, Vishwamitra's dialogue, right? It's all the dialogues. He is speaking to those rivers, right? Not to flow very fast, aggressively, because he has to cross. So it's in the form of dialogues. Six questions are over, and after six, Pratham still at the top. Lola, Adarsh, Bhavesh, Madhura, top five. Supergirl, Arya, Anuj, Rinat, and Parth. So, guys, moving on to the last question. Be ready. <clears throat> yeah, Sri Vasa, thank you. I will. I didn't want to miss the session today, guys. Even at one p.m., I could not take. So, I really wanted to be with you guys. Sanskrit is a part of family of languages which is known as Indo-Dravidian, uh, Indo-Russian, Indo-European, Indo-China. Sanskrit. So, how many of you chose option A? Okay. So now it is it surprising Indo-European. So it is a part of family of long way languages Indo-European. So guys, after seven questions, who's gonna win? Pratham. Oh, Pratham wins by one point here. Wow! Congratulations, Pratham. Keep it up, beta. Keep it up. Great job done. Raghav, Adarsh. Okay, who is that? I am not able to see. Guys, the names are kind of masked. Everyone in the leaderboard is still Shaurya, Jitnesh. All right, Parth. Okay, Rini. Everyone, great job done, guys. Great job. Many congratulations to all of you, guys. So I think with this we are coming to the closure of uh, the entire chapter, including NCERT solutions. What books and burials tell us? Hey kids, yeah, I think I did my best. Uh, to make sure i take this session so i hope you it was informative and you liked it hit the like button and uh, to let me or uh, let me know that you liked it and newcomers the session will be a lot lot informative the, every session will be a live session with quiz so don't forget to subscribe to the channel all right <clears throat> guys i will meet you tomorrow until then this is myself sundar ravindran signing off stay safe all right uh, don't worry i'll take care of myself 
I will be fine. Okay, tomorrow all good and done. Okay, right guys, have a nice evening. Stay indoors, stay safe. Bye-bye.